Okay, guys. I'm back. I know it's late. I just wanted to try something. I mean, I'm not trying to do nothing perfect. But I just want to see how it'll turn out if I um, ate my little girl <coughs> a necklace. <coughs> now, a lot of y'all are in the group, and we do these things called um, the bamboo earrings with the little names and all that good stuff. Uh, and there's a lot of gluing involved. So, me and my favorite thing is heat bun. So, if you watch my air freshener from yesterday, you'll see where I had connected the heating bun to the, what you call it, the felt. And all I did was, what I'm doing now, I, um, I cut it to fit what I was using. So, I'm going to do that for at least three pieces of paper. Now, I might just do it for one and see, can I make the necklace real small? Because I really don't want to waste. So far, I think my necklace is going to be like five inches. I want it to be big enough for you to see it, but not too big because she's a kid. So, let's show y'all this method right quick on uh, the paper. And it's called Heat and Bun. If you want to know what it looks like, go back to the one of my videos. Uh, it's the... The Jordan, the Jordan air freshener, and then I'll show you. God, dog, I didn't cut that one long enough, but I might not even use all that, that side of the paper anyway, so it ain't no bigger than me. So what I'm gonna do, I'm going to take this over to the heat press, and I'm going to press it. So I'm seeing it yesterday, so I'm doing that. So all I'm doing is <laughs> lining it up. Put a piece of paper or two on top of it. Just gotta hold it down. <coughs> but uh, I'm just gonna heat it up. Let it get an even coat to where I can. You know what I mean? That would be melting. Do it one more time. Put the paper down. Five seconds, six, five, whatever, whenever my time will go out. Okay? So, we're just gonna sit it over to the side. We're gonna let it cool. He might, he pretty smell good. Smell like perfume. Why, well, I don't know. Okay. So, this is the heating bun. On top of my paper, my paper is gray. And then all oh, y'all probably like, why you always doing extra shit, girl? But, cause I'm extra. Okay. So we're gonna cut it. I'm gonna put it, uh, I'm gonna put it this way, cause I'm gonna probably make it smaller. That way I can use this whole piece of paper. And I don't know what says, and I'm gonna cut it on. I'll let you know all that in just a second because I'm going to have to cut this off <coughs> and then uh, turn my Cricut design on and I'll come back and record while it's cutting. So right now I'm cutting it on a wood setting. Um, I don't know if this going to work or not. So far it looks like it didn't. I don't know why. Okay, guys, I'm back. I only got mad, and I done cut out about 15 different papers. Um, I just decided to cut on three out <coughs> to give y'all an idea. And I still got the heat bun on my paper. You see the difference? Yeah, so if I wanted to do something extra, I could have a little piece. But, y'all, it was a fucking headache uh, trying to get all this cut out. It... Uh, I end up cutting it on a wood setting. Uh, what's it called? Broach, broach wood or some shit like that. 
I ended up cutting it on a um, a wood setting because it was just like, I don't know, man. Like I said, I'm just trying something. And I was going to do her a name, a uh, necklace, but it was, it was just taking too long. I'm sleeping. So I just did these three. And it is pretty thick since I got the heat button on it. So it'll probably be like, it ain't thick, thick, but you know, you got to feel it for yourself. So you need to try it. So you can see what I'm talking about, because it's already car stock. All it did was put like a seal or something on it. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to mash these three together. Plus, get this on top. I just cut uh, a front and a back for a vinyl uh, heat transfer. And then I'm going to put it like that. So I'm, I'm praying it works y'all. I don't know if it's gonna work or not, but hey, it's worth the try. So just gotta try to get it lined up exactly. And for some reason, y'all, yeah, this vinyl is um, tripping. It's Cricut brand. I thought it was this, like the other brands I was using earlier today was like Scissor, Sizer, Scissor, or whatever, however you pronounce it. But this brand here was Cricut, and Cricut fucking suck. I got another piece I got to cut out, and uh, I don't know what the hell wrong with it. It was like too tough, and I cut it on car stock setting, so it was cut. I, I don't know what's going on with it. I should do one at a time, y'all, but I'm tired. I really want to go to sleep. Just wanted to give y'all another video with another idea. And show y'all that I'm in love with heat and bun. Because I don't like to sew nothing. I get to the point I don't like to glue nothing. Fuck. This is fucking tedious. No craft while you're sleeping. If you're sleeping, take your butt to bed because I'm, I'm tired. I've been up all day and just playing around like a little kid. So I'm just trying to think of something as always. I didn't want to put no tape around this, but it looked like that's what's going to happen. Because I need them to be super even. With, with my eyeballs set up right now, I'm about to just say fuck it and just press them all together. Then come back and put the damn heat and transfer on it. We're just going to leave it like that. Fuck it. We're going to go over here to the heat thing. And press. I'm just going to press this shit. I'm tired. supposed to put one on the back so I need it to all be even I doubt if it be even because of the simple fact I'm being lazy if anybody know what these things are called as um with the heat press can somebody please comment below and let me know because I need a new one because I didn't got glue all kind of stuff on that thing. <clears throat> I ain't get it even. I don't even care though. I'm so tired. Look at that. You can see it all through there. But y'all get the idea. I mean, like, 
I don't have to hold your hand all the way through it. I know. I just be wanting to show y'all some ideas. So. Look at that. Look how, look how tough this is. It's cut. It just glitter from my cricket. And it's so tough. Look at that bullshit. I don't even know if that's a piece I need or not. I'm so sleepy. Look. <coughs> <laughs> Another thing, you can use this still, like uh, just to bun it on something and cut with some scissors. I, I don't throw away nothing. Y'all ought to see my scrap pile. I ain't lying. Every now and then, if I'm being lazy, I you know don't feel like playing with it or putting it in the box. And I got so much now, I just like forget I throw it away. But you can always use these pieces to... um. Like if you got some clothes or something that you did like shirt wise and you done messed up a shirt. Shit, look at that case of shit. Like if you done messed up a shirt or something like that, you can um use them little pieces to cover up spots. I cut little pieces off of them and just go ahead and iron them on. So always ways around it. All coming out of it. Messed my E up earlier. And you see, I put it right back together. This is messed up, but hey, I don't care. That like something's supposed to come out over here. Piece somewhere coming out of those. There you go. And uh, the reason why I flipped this one, I left this one the regular way because this is gonna be my back. So I didn't flip this horizontal. I just left it like uh, just regular, like able to read, so I can be able to have a back and then a front. See, that's my front. Back. It looks like trash because I didn't get it all even. But like I said, y'all got common sense. Y'all know not to do like I just did to put it all down together. It's best to do like uh one piece at a time type stuff and do it with the iron. I was being lazy. The iron, you can do it even and then make sure all your papers and stuff together, right? So like I said, I'm sleeping. I just want to come on and show y'all something different. Well, it's not much different, but hey. And all I'm going to do is press it again. And my heat press is not on, but it's still hot. <coughs> it don't take a lot of heat for the iron on. But I'm tell you, y'all, I'm about to lay it on down. Hot, but it ain't hot, hot. This, this is so pretty, ain't it? I wanted to do her necklace. I'm still gonna use it on something, y'all. I'm just tired. This right here. 
We use this trim and like some hooks and all that good stuff. I got that color and I got this one. I still ain't did nothing with these chains yet. See, um, like I said, I didn't take my time. If y'all go back and watch another couple of videos of mine, you can see, you know, how to do it. But I would do it with the iron. That way you can layer one piece at a time so you can get it even. But like I said, I was being lazy, and then I'm tired, and I'm sleepy, and then the machine kept messing up. So, but, um, get it even man they do more layers than this but this is pretty like you know this dirty side for my baby probably make it like a keychain but if i did do a necklace i don't have no silver um necklace but what you'll do is you'll um buy these um the hoop rings the jump ring hoop ring thingies and you'll connect one to this end and connect one to the paper end, and then you connect your necklace on that, like that. <clears throat> and I don't know if you got any jewelry cutters or not, but uh, you can buy you some jewelry cutters in order to cut the chain. So it'll be make it a little shorter so you can see the necklace. But if you do it long enough for you, you know it'll look like something like similar to that. It'll just be like a necklace. Like that, or you can just uh, cut two pieces and then put a clam on them. Uh, you can like cut. You can cut this piece and cut another piece, and and then attach those with the. little lobster claws or one this big you can attach these to the chain like you know for instance you have a piece of chain here like long enough for to go around your neck too though so you have a piece of chain here which will connect that chain with that and you have another piece over here you connect and that way these you have two end pieces of each chain because they'll be cut and then you can put uh, one of them smaller clamps on one end, and you can put the lobster clamps on the other end. That way, <coughs> it'll be like this, but you'll have your necklace going upwards, and then you can have a, a way to close it. <coughs> one side will have the clamps, and the other, you know, you get it. I hope you get it. Some people act like they don't get stuff, but... I'm trying to explain the best way I know how and I know y'all looking at it like just do it if you go back down and watch a couple of my videos I'm pretty sure I did do one or two something I don't know but here y'all go comment like and subscribe I will just give y'all another way of doing the bamboo jewelry instead of y'all having to glue everything y'all have a blessed night please like and subscribe